demand follows the continuous brouhaha surrounding the SIM card re-registration and the recent action taken by the National Communications Authority to block subscribers who have not registered their SIM cards for 48 hours. In recent times, it appears that the success of the communication sector is haunting this government and members of government are not even placing value on its threat to our democracy and endeavoring to emasculate networks to intimidate subscribers whose freedoms are regularly subjected to database manipulations. Instead of promoting the widespread use of communication services, what is obtaining now is an unnecessary request for registration, re-registration, multiple registration of SIMs for contrived reasons. And I emphasize that registration, re-registration, then we end up with a blockade. They are simply punishing Ghanaians over their own failures and inability to synchronize data between the National Identification Authority and mobile operators in Ghana. That punishment on the Ghanaian citizen remains unjustified. And we in the minority will not sit aloof on the matter. Mr. Idris lamented that the frustrations in SIM registration with telecom companies can only be attributed to the repressive tendencies of this government. It can be recalled that during the period of COVID-19, so much reliance was placed on ICT usage. In such emergencies and irrespective of the cybersecurity laws we have in this country, the communications hygiene did not compromise the national identity registration crisis to warrant a blanket blockade of SIM registration. So even under COVID, we lived and we lived with our SIMs. The frustrations in registration of SIMs with telecom companies through third-party private entities and NIA with a different mandate can only be attributed to the repressive tendencies of this government. So you simply cannot understand. Mobile phone operators must register. NIA must register. A private entity comes to play a role. Naturally, everywhere in the world, if you want a SIM card, you register with your mobile phone operator, not through a third-party operator not through any vehicle and then you need to work synchronizing the data with national identification authority many of you were in this country when the chief executive of nia said that my data is not the same thing as the data that is required to do same registration yet a poor Ghanaian must be punished with a blockade because of this administrative and institutional Feelings. Again, they completely cut telecommunication services to subscribers for no other reason than to limit usage by citizens is the lowest point in a nation's telecommunications development, he added. The International Telecoms Union actually places premium on emergency telecommunications. To completely cut telecom services to subscribers for no other reason than to limit usage by citizens is the lowest point in a nation's telecoms development. Ghana is not the first country to undertake a SIM registration exercise, but Ghana is the only country you are hearing the chaos in the telecom landscape, greeted by their lack of understanding of mobile telephone as an essential emergency tool. Now, I understand that they are charging fees. Who approved those fees? And I'm aware that the state is funding the National Identification Authority and a number of releases have been made to the National Identification Authority. How do we reconcile the income they are making against the state sponsorship of that activity, against demanding value for money in the execution of a national ID card system? However, he was of the view that this could have been a means to support government's e-levy. Indeed, the irony is that in the search for increased revenue to meet the voluptuous appetite of the government, 
instead of encouraging the usage of mobile communications to promote even their failing e-levy, the government is imposing obstacles to the continuing growth of the telecom sector and with the profitability of the country. The country benefits immensely from its telecom regime. The minority hands called on the Ministry of Communications and the National Communications Authority to desist from treating the communications sector as a personal fiefdoms at the peril of the country's development. It is a view of the minority that the NCA is acting ultra virus in curtailing the exercise and enjoyment of the right to privacy of communication. It's indeed time for this government to pay attention to the framework of emergency telecoms to forestall the recourse to blockade of subscriber SIMs. The International Telecom Union supports the development of national emergency telecommunications plans in ensuring the continued use of ICT network and services in all aspects of disaster management for saving life and for reducing the damage. Even climate change will rely on that. We are therefore calling on the Ministry of Communication and the National Communication Authority to desist from treating the communication sector as personal fiefdoms at the peril of the country's development. That this is what I want to do, and therefore I will do it. Let her be reminded that we've been there before. But we walk today in the humbleness that we have existed, and they will exit tomorrow from those arrogance.